Angelo, what up, what up? What's going on, man? How you, How you doing, doing right? How you doing, man? Let me meet the dogs. This right here is... Yeah, yeah. That's Max right there. Max? What's going on, Max? Here we got Molly. And then Molly? Yep, yep. Molly, how you doing? Let's have a seat. Let's, let's, let's chat for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You always been a dog person? Always. When did that start? Um, I would say with my grandmother. She, um, she had a, a, a poodle such as this one. Okay. Um, a little bit smaller. Um, Max as well. So ever since then, I've always had a dog and, and kind of <laughs> named him Max. <laughs> All, how many how many Maxes have there been now? This, this is the brother. third. This is the third. This is beautiful out here. How much how much you love in Brooklyn? It's good, man. Like you said, when the when the weather's right uh, and, and you can get out like this and, and enjoy it, it's, it's cool. What's the biggest difference that you notice? What's the you know they have, everybody talks about the culture here? What really stands out about Brooklyn to you? Um. I don't know, I say you, you really get the seasons in New York in general, you know, um, but but Brooklyn, I would just say that the, the main thing, people preach the culture, like you said, but the food, it's, it's, it's different restaurants and stuff on every corner, you know, so um, you get the opportunity and time, you get out, you you're, you might run into five, ten different re new restaurants, you know, so that that's definitely a uh, pleasure. Right. Does this feel like the first time when you've really been able to get settled and feel stable? Yeah. yeah. I would definitely say this is the um, first, you know, summer and in year of just, you know, sh that that structure of. I would say it gives you that that resemblance of college, you mm -hmm. know, um, and it's it's well needed. And I, I appreciate it. What what does that mean to you? What does that mean to you to, to head into the off season, know you're heading to the training facility, talking to the same coaching staff that you had the year before, same general manager you had the year before? It's good. You know, it gives you a, a stable, you know, feeling. You get you get that comfort knowing that you're seeing the same faces and you got the same teammates coming in and stuff like that. That, like I said, that structure and comfort is, is what guys need at this level. When the season is over, do you get away from basketball? Are you still watching basketball? Like, how much of the playoffs did you? Watch? I watch basketball. I watch a lot. I watch it all. I like to travel though as well. I'm a soccer fan, so I like to travel too and, and just get it and get around the world. Is that a uh, passion or interest in soccer, football? When did that begin? Uh, high school. My um, my bird. Our high school team was like the number one team in the country for a few years running, and um, I just became a fan instantly. Um, they 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 got some guys that that. I saw the excitement in uh, soccer, and, and that's what made me a fan. Reflecting on last season, you know, how do you feel about your first season playing for the Nets? Um, I think it was exciting. Um, definitely up and ups and downs, but um, the culture around here is, is really building, and and you can feel it. You can feel, you know, just just that turning point going. You know, I think Sean and, and Kenny and just just the people that they're they're putting around us. You know, the the, the, the PTs, everybody's two feet in at, at, at turning the corner for, for this whole organization and you can feel it man and it's, it's, it's really it's a great feeling.